I'm working on this termination strip up front and these screw heads are proven to be a little bit of a pain. The lap sealant's so old, I'm having a hard time getting it off there. So I'm having to dig each one out individually. So that's the current status. I'm gonna have to do that um, for the duration of the length, which may take, could take a little bit of time. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to just dig all these out individually. Go ahead and screw those off. See if I can get these undone on the ends here and then we'll uh, see if we can peel this thing back a little bit. I was mentioned one, one, on one of the earlier videos how much I like this little um, four in one or five in one, whatever you wanna call it, but it's proven to be really, really handy yet again. So it's making light work of the lap slant that's around those screw heads. So I'm actually making uh, pretty good progress getting these out. Okay, let's see if we can get this gently pulled up. I think underneath this termination strip, the siding is stapled into the plywood. So you have the, the decking, the rubber membrane, the siding, which is stapled in there. Then you have this strip, which is screwed in. So I'm just gonna go through here real gently, <clears throat> excuse me, and pry that up to uh, make sure I don't damage anything, but I wanna be able to get this up all the way across. That way we can put the new roof, roofing material up under the... So just continuing on with this, prying it up gently. The siding is stapled to the deck, but it's kind of loose pretty easily. You also have the adhesive uh, from the roofing material that's stuck to the plywood, so we're kind of peeling everything off in layers. There you go, we got this peeled up. You can see the insulation under here. Um, the wood's all good. We're gonna have to clean up. There's some staples that are left over. You can see them uh, from place to place. So I'm gonna go through here and get all of that cleaned up. I need to get this strip off of here still. And then this roofing material. You can see how far it went out of there. It ended here. Um, this is underneath the siding and then it went another, you know, four or five inches beyond that, kind of overlapping the insulation and all that good stuff. So um, we're just gonna replicate what they had from a factory when we put this back on. You can see, maybe, got everything on the roof. I'm gonna start going around and taping these seams up and getting all the corners. I'm actually just gonna use this heavy duty um, Gorilla Tape. And if I think there's an area that may be a little more abrasive or sharp, I'm gonna double up on that. Um, you can see here, the remaining portion of the skylight that I have to cut out. So I'm gonna start working my way, way around. Uh, I'm gonna get this stuff taped up and then I'm gonna go ahead and tape the seams um, that run horizontally across the, across the roof up here and make sure that there's no raised edges or screw heads or nails or anything like that that's gonna interfere. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm just slowly working my way around uh, with this Gorilla Tape. So it's taking a little bit of time, but it'll be worth it in the long run. So I'm gonna keep doing this and <clears throat> we'll check in with you whenever we get uh, all the way around the sink. All right, let's get the rest of this edge trimmed up here and um, make sure all that fits nicely. See if we can get this cut out of here. I have to, once I get it out, I'm probably going to go ahead and screw it down to these trusses. That way, it'll give it a little more support, like I did on this back one here. And then I'll uh, clean up these edges once I get in there. <laughs>
Let's get up on top and take a look and maybe we'll take the jigsaw and clean that up. Okay, I have the skylight and vent fan. Um, I got it cut out and everything's um, pretty flush, uh, close enough anyways. And I went ahead and put some Gorilla Tape over those edges just because they were slightly jagged. I knocked down the rough stuff, but I just wanted to make sure. So I went ahead and just added another strip of that over it just to give it a little bit more cushion between the sharp edge or the edge and um, the roofing material when we get it on there. So we are good to go up here in terms of this prep. Obviously we'll clean it off one more time before we start putting any material on here. But uh, next thing is I'm going to go around the edge of this where all of the trim pieces or the termination trim, whatever you want to call it, uh, where that's going to um, go on and I'm going to go ahead and clean up all of the leftover butyl tape and uh, lap sealant and all that mess. So I'm getting all the final preps done before I start putting this roof on. I went ahead and uh, cleaned up all these edges the best I could, getting rid of all the old lap sealant and butyl tape that was on there. Again, best I could so we can get ready for the roofing material to get on here. Um, I'll give it another clean, make sure everything's good. We're going to go ahead and uh, pressure wash these trim pieces real quick just to make sure I can get them as clean as possible prior to putting them back on there. I just want to uh, give us the best chance at getting a good seal. So we are, we're going to pressure wash these. As you can tell, my slab here on this little patio is a little bit dirty. We may have to do that later. Anyways, we're going to pressure wash these and let them dry while I'm finishing up the other preps. And then we're going to try to get this roof on. I got everything pressure washed. I think it did a pretty good job um, getting these cleaned up. It got a lot of the small stuff that I couldn't really get with a putty knife or a scraper out of there. Um, there's just a little bit, but really you can't even feel it to the touch. So I think that we're going to be good to go as far as that's concerned. Um, next step, I'm going to get up top and um, maybe use the blower, I think, to get the last little bit of debris off. And then I'm gonna bring out the material. I've got it rolled up on a, a uh, cardboard tube, so the EPDM, my roofing material, and just kind of dry fit everything into place. And then we're gonna see how it's gonna work with the wind. So um, if everything fits, I'm gonna fold half of it back, go ahead and roll on the adhesive and get it laid down. So. I'll probably just put that on time lapse or speed it up for you guys so you can see the process. Basically, it's just going to be painting on the, the adhesive and smoothing out the roofing. So that's what we're going to do.